Thank you for taking the time and for listening to my talk. I'm going to present to you our work about post hoc uncertainty calibration for domain shift scenarios. Uncertainty aware machine learning models are key for real world applications. Modern neural networks are not well calibrated. They tend to make wrong predictions with high confidence. There are two major ways to achieve uncertainty awareness of deep learning models, which are intrinsic calibration, as it is the case, for example, for Monte Carlo dropout, or postdoc methods, which are applied after the network is trained. We are focusing on the latter ones, namely post hoc methods. The key issue here is that neural networks, as well as post hoc calibration methods, are trained on a particular domain. However, in real world applications, Models have to cope with samples that are not necessarily drawn from the same distribution as they were trained on. Recalibrated neural networks make therefore overconfident predictions under domain drift. As you can see in the figure on the right, the task is it to recognize a doormat. The doormat in the middle is drawn from the test distribution, which is similar to the train distribution. Thus, all the models make a correct prediction with high confidence. The doormat on the right, on the other hand, was photographed from a different angle. And in this case, all the models make wrong predictions. However, our approach yields a low confidence score reflecting model uncertainty. Furthermore, only the uncertainty calibration method presented in this paper achieves confidence scores that match model accuracy across all predictions. The accuracy is indicated by the dashed red line in the box plot diagram. All other approaches are overconfident under the main shift. I would now like to go into our approach. First, we obtain a transformed validation set, representing a generic domain shift. We therefore sample domain drift scenarios by randomly choosing direction and magnitude of the domain drift. We use this, these scenarios to perturb the validation set and, taken together, simulate a generic domain drift. We sample from a set of 10 noise levels, covering the entire spectrum from in-domain to truly out-of-domain. Each noise level corresponds to the variance of a Gaussian, which in turn is used to sample the magnitude of domain drift. In the second step, we tune a given post hoc uncertainty calibration method based on this perturbed validation set and obtain confidence scores that are calibrated under domain drift. All in all, we simulate domain drift scenarios and use the resulting perturbed validation set to tune existing post hoc uncertainty calibration methods. We hypothesize that this facilitates calibrated predictions of neural networks under domain drift. Lastly, we test the model on previously unseen perturbations as well as OOD scenarios and evaluate calibration metrics such as the expected calibration error. Regarding our experiments, we tuned two sets of post hoc calibrators. One set was tuned in a standard manner based on the validation set. The second set was tuned with the proposed method based on the perturbed validation set. Across 14 corruptions, we see that using our tuning approach substantially improves calibration performance compared to standard tuning. We then assessed how calibration performance depends on the amount of domain shift. We observed that standard methods calibration error increases with increasing domain shift. In contrast, our approach, in particular together with isotonic regression, yielded low calibration errors throughout the entire range of domain shifts, as you can see here. In summary, we showed that standard tuning results in highly overconfident OD predictions and uncalibrated models in domain shift scenarios. To address this issue, we developed a perturbation-based tuning method that can be readily applied to any post hoc calibration method. We demonstrate that our new approach, when used in conjunction with isotonic regression-based methods or temperature scaling-based methods, yields well-calibrated predictions in the case of any domain drift from in-domain to truly out-of-domain scenarios. Thank you very much for taking the time and for listening to my presentation. I hope you liked it and if you want, take a look into our paper.